What up, guys? So today's question comes from James, who is a bigger guy, about 200 pounds, and he's experiencing a problem that a lot of bigger jiu-jitsu competitors will experience. So he is, again, 200 pounds. He has a super fight coming up against another competitor who has a win against him in a previous competition. Now, in the previous competition, the other competitor beat him by points using superior takedowns in wrestling. James says that at his gym, they don't do a lot of takedowns or stand-up work, and that even when he competes and he wins, which he does pretty well in competitions, James says that the stand-up always tires him out. And so he's getting ready for the super fight, and he's curious about how to go about it. He's looking for maybe some advice from the Chewster on how to deal with this. I also sent him a message back since he sent it to my email. By the way, if you guys ever want to ask questions, usually email is the best way to do it. I asked him how he felt with his guard game. <laughs> and his message is a little shaky, right? He said it was good, but that his top game is what he's best at. And that he was looking for some ways to maybe pull guard, but also set up takedowns and sweeps right out of the gate and be a little bit more aggressive with it. So James, thank you for the question. And so let's jump into some ideas on how to be a big guy who plays top position in competitions, but doesn't have good takedowns, right? That's a problem that a lot of people have because again, a lot of gyms don't practice much takedowns. And again, what that does is that puts you into a awkward situation in competitions where you have this game where you need to be on top of someone, but you don't have the best way to get there, right? That's a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline first off a kind of a style, if you will, or if maybe some of you guys play video games as well, maybe setting up a build, right? That's like a lot of, a lot of times in games, right? You set up a build, set up a style or build. And I'm also going to give you some technical um, ideas, resources at the end of the video that you can look up after this video. So check this out. Style wise, if you're going to be a big guy who wants to get on top, but does not have good takedowns, or maybe you got really bad knees and you don't think you can develop those takedowns, or you don't have the resources to do so like you, cause your gym doesn't practice takedowns, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to develop a particular style that you'll see from a lot of bigger guys, myself included. Again, most like 90% of the time I get takedowns in jiu-jitsu, but every now and then I need to pull guard because there's better wrestlers out there than me. And sometimes I also want to play for my guard. And so the style or the build, if you will, right? And any of you guys that play video games where you're combining skills and attributes to make this build to play the game with, it's what you're doing in jiu-jitsu, right? You have attributes, you're developing skills, you combine them together to play the game. So the style or build you're going to use is going to be a big guy who pulls guard into the sweeps to get on top to play their top game get the submission from there right so i'll give you an example if i'm going up against someone with better wrestling than me i will or i just want to play a guard i will pull into typically the butterfly or half guard go for the sweep come up on top then go for the the top position type style that i usually play and again this usually works well for bigger guys because a lot of bigger guys not always but a lot of bigger guys don't have great submissions off their back there are some if they're longer typically but especially if you're kind of like a stocky big guy like me or maybe you don't have the most dexterity in your hips, a lot of times you're going to come up for sweeps and then put the smash on someone and try to submit them there. And that would be a good style for you to play. Now, I know that talking to you in your message, you said your top game is your best thing and you seem kind of apprehensive with your guard. Then my suggestion to you, bro, would be to move into your guard and play your guard a ton getting ready for this match because it's going to be a strategic blunder for you to go out against someone with better wrestling who you've lost to and, and basically experienced the takedown battle before and lost it, and you get tired in the takedown battle, that's going to be a strategic blunder because what's going to happen is this guy's going to get the takedown, you're going to be tired, they're going to be up on points, and then you're going to be in a situation where you don't have the energy to rally back and get the win. So what would be a much smarter thing to do is to deny that person those points by pulling guard into whatever guard you want to and then attacking them with a sweep. And then coming up for the sweep, because then if you get the sweep, you're now ahead on points, and now you can put your top game to work. Now, I know this sometimes create pro creates certain problems for big guys, because a lot of big guys don't naturally take towards the guard. There are some, but most of them don't. Most big guys like being on top. It's where we naturally feel good, right? We're big, we're heavy, we're laying on people. It's the game we're naturally good at. It's like smaller, sort of flexible people. They're typically better at playing off their back. And so sometimes you'll roll with guys in your gym who, I mean, it's like if you blow on them the wrong way, they'll just fall over and just play off their guard because they don't really want to play guard passing. They want to play off their back. They want to invert into triangles or go for leg locks or whatever. And so again, we all do this. We naturally want to play the games that we're good at because it feels fun. It's like we're good at them. So it's not so, there's not as much friction as when we go to a position that we're not very good at. But 
For your sake, again, it is going to be a strategic blunder to go out there and try to lock up with this much better wrestler and try to take them down and then wear yourself out in the process. Not a good idea. Pull guard, go for the sweep, get on top. That's the strategy. Now, a couple resources that you can look up. I have some videos in the description that you can look up if you'd like. They are some ideas on what I call aggressive guard pulling where, just like you said in your message back to me, instead of simply sitting down to your guard and pulling, right, I'm going to pull guard into a takedown or a sweep that I can immediately attack with, right? Because again, I wanna be aggressive with it. I don't wanna sit down and just let the person start working their passing. I wanna get them off balance as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna sit into a half guard and get them posting and then get them fighting for like a single leg or a wrestle up. Or I'm gonna sit down into a butterfly guard and already be working for a butterfly sweep. And those resources, those links are down below. Now, that said, if you'd like one of my paid courses that goes into the same stuff, plus some other wrestling defense stuff, I have a wrestling for BJJ course that's down in the links below as well. But again, the free stuff will probably do you just fine for where you're at right now. But if you want to go deeper, that course is available to you as well. But again, that's my suggestion to you, bro. That is the style that I think I would suggest to anyone that's big with bad takedowns, who has a really good top game, but doesn't have a good way to get there in competition. So hopefully that helps you, James, in your upcoming super fight and anybody else in that situation. And uh, guys, I'll talk to you next time.